Hi there, welcome to my site, and welcome to this video tutorial on Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2. What I'm going to cover in this tutorial is the Brush Variance Palette. Now, if you have a Wacom tablet installed, that would be a uh, Graphire, a Bamboo, Bamboo Fun, Intuos, or Cintiq, then you could take advantage of this brush palette because it's a pressure sensitive thing the way it works. You have nine different things that you can change. Dynamics, I call them. Uh, Paint Shop Pro calls them options. And each one of them has about 12 different things you can do. Now, tilt angle, tilt direction, orientation, finger wheel, they are all unique to the Cintiq and above because they have uh, pressure sensor or tilt built into the tablets. So let's take a look at first pressure uh, for size. Now, what it means is that if I press lightly, I get a thin line. If I press harder, on the pen, it gets thicker. Isn't that cool? That's neat. Okay, so we've got that one. Now we'll go to density. Density, I, I kind of like density, you know. I don't know why, but it's neat. Starts off like this, pressing harder, you get that. Now it's slightly different from opacity, and this is opacity. You can see I go very lightly and I get now, I have no idea what's going on underneath there, but there's something happening. Or I can press hard and get it all. There's other ones here that are kind of cool. Um, color blend starts with the background color and goes to the foreground color. In this case, I've got a dark blue. Press harder. It starts going into my foreground color, which is red. Now, I'm sure that there's somebody out there who knows exactly how they would use this. I have figured out one time how to use this. Eh, yeah, it's there. Uh, you've got hue and saturation, lightness, size, opacity, thickness, and rotation. Hue starts off. You've got all the colors of the rainbow in here. And again, somebody who's probably better than me could figure this out. You know, you also have these jitter things. I uh, don't know what they do. So we won't talk about them. Saturation starts off desaturated and then goes into your foreground color. And you can you can gang them up together if you want. Uh, let's take size and density. Okay, so there we go. We've got a small red and as I press harder it gets bigger and darker. So that is what the brush variance palette does for you. If you have a tablet installed, it's really cool. When you get into things like adjustment layers, or you're making masks, or you're really doing some fine detail work, the size is perfect. Um, if you're painting over something, it, the opacity or the, the density is good. And not just the brush tool. All the other tools that, that do any kind of adjustment to your photograph or to your image have this, this built into them and the things like the clone brush you can set it for opacity and so you can slowly take away an object or move an object without that brute force kinda cloning that sometimes happens so there's a lot of things that you can do and it really is limited by your imagination so if you're a paint shop pro photo x2 user or even paint shop pro 10 or the one after that or the one before that they all have the brush variance palette and you can do all these same cool things with it so give it a try, and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative. And uh, come on back. We'll have some other tutorials on Paint Shop Pro as uh, time moves forward. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye now.